thruster is a combination of a squat and an overhead press. If you haven't yet watched my videos on how to squat and how to overhead press, I'm gonna send you on a quick detour. Click the link now and make sure to watch those two videos. Once we've mastered those two movements, we're ready to do a thruster. As with any other weighted movement that we do, we can get creative with the weight that we use. Of course, we can always use dumbbells or kettlebells or weight plates, but we can also use cans, water bottles, gallon jugs, books, cast iron skillets, anything that has weight that we can safely hold on to. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate thrusters using cans of baked beans. Remember, our thruster is a dynamic combination of a squat and an overhead press. The way we put those two together is with a little jump. So I'm resting my weight on my shoulders, sitting back into my squat, but now as I come up out of my squat, I jump and shrug and press that weight up overhead. The power from my hips, jumping up out of my squat, and then following through to that shrug of my shoulders helps me propel that weight up overhead. As I connect repetitions of our thrusters, I'm constantly checking in on the principles of my squat and my overhead press. Are my shoulders down and back? Am my elbows in front of my weight? Am I staying on my heels and my back staying neutral? Am I squeezing my butt as I come up out of my squat? And then as I reset to bring those weights back down on my shoulders, are my shoulders down and back? We've got to make sure that we have correct form in our squat and our overhead press before we attempt our thrusters. If we have two objects of the same weight today, we'll do the reps of thrusters just as prescribed. If we only have one weighted object, we'll do the reps of thrusters, but halfway through, we'll switch arms with that weighted object, doing half on one side, half on the other. But the total number of thrusters stays the same. If you find yourself wanting to do a thruster workout and you're someplace that just has absolutely nothing weighted that you can use, I want you to substitute star jumps. This is where we squat to make ourselves into a little black hole and then we jump up into a star. Black hole, star, black hole, star. Give it a try. Now that you know how to do a thruster, you're ready to head back to the workout that you came from because you're about to get an amazing workout experience.